Hi, this is Aditya from Paraguay Technologies. So in this video, we will see how to extract the data from SharePoint list to the SSIS using OData Connection Manager. The list we are using are from online SharePoint, not the premises. So to fetch the data, we must install OData source from Microsoft site. So let's download it. So you can see I'm using Microsoft SQL Server 2014. If you have 2012, then you can go for that. So according to your version of SQL Server, you need to download the OData source from Microsoft site only. So yeah, you can see it's OData source for SQL Server 2014. I already downloaded it so I cannot download it again I must not so once you download it and install it you can see O data source in the SSIS toolbox so just drag it open the editor and you say new so this is the connection manager for O data so for this you need to provide three things one is the service document location which is your site url then your username and password to the sharepoint list so let's provide this So there is a key, your site URL must be appended with underscore bin slash listdata.svc. What this does is, it gets the collection of SharePoint lists from your site URL. So this is the key. So if you don't append it, then you will not get the successful test connection. So let's test the connection. So I got 403 error. Another key is you need to set one property of authentication. Just set it to true. So the test connection succeeded. So we are done with the connection manager now say ok so you can see it is now loading the connection loading the collection meaning it is downloading the list of all the SharePoint lists from your URL so this is this is the list of my SharePoint lists this is the collection so each and every time it is getting this in XML format so if you get any error related to XML DTD you need to append your site URL with this so let's select one list say okay so we can select holidays so let's check the columns It is somehow slow because each and every time the SSI is going to hit your site URL and fetch the data and uh, yeah for this request response time it will take some time it is it might be slow so let's select holidays only say ok there is still a red mark hopefully it will go yeah, it's gone so now this is the source we need something in the destination so let's say flat file destination let's 
connect it let's have something in the flat file connection manager so these are the columns to reset let me clear the file first so i would like to clear the file okay so we'll do it again okay so let's browse it should be something source file again so let's see the columns okay so there is nothing file say okay say preview there is nothing in the file say okay to it so you can see there is one red mark over here so it is, it is something because of the data conversion so we need to convert the input column to the specific format to convert it i would like to use the data conversion tool let's adjust them Syncing. It's connected. So the error is. Oh, all it is. Okay. So this is Unicode text stream. To put it in a flat file source, we need to convert it to the text stream. So yes, I've converted it. Now we'll change the mappings. So it should be copy of holidays now. Let's see. Okay, so it's gone. So it is very simple, but there are only two key things to do this. One is um, one. Yeah, one is to append your site URL with underscore vt underscore bin slash list data dot svc. That is the one thing. And second thing is setting the property which I have shown you previously. So if you get the error of 403, then you must set the property to the true for the SharePoint authentication. And if you get anything related to XML, DTD, then you might not append your site URL in the connection manager with the listdata.svc. So each and every time what happens is SharePoint and the SSIS integration is uh, with the XML file format. So most of the times uh, SSIS expects the data in XML format and uh, the listdata.svc file converts the online data to the XML format and then send it to SSIS so that is why you might be getting the error of xml or dtd so to avoid it or to fix it you need to append it with listdata.svc so let's try to run it it will take some time to execute the package because every time when we open the data source when we open the connection manager when we open uh, try to open the columns or when we try to execute the package each and every time SSIS will hit the site URL and it will take some time for the response. Let's wait to have some output from this. Okay, so you can see the data has been loaded successfully. Let's stop debugging first. Then we'll go to execution results. See everything is fine. It is finished. It took around 25 seconds. Let's go to data flow again. I will check if there is not anything in the destination file. Yes. So data has been loaded successfully.
so this is the very very simple example in which we are using share online sharepoint as a source and we are loading it in the destination so you need to convert the data in the format in which the destination is expecting your destination can be the flat file sql oracle excel sheet everything no worries so yes this this is this is the way how you can extract the data from online sharepoint in ssis yes so yeah thank you that's it